Hello and welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity, the White March, and we are in um, Long Watch Falls. It's been a while since I played, so I have to get myself familiar. We do have, I think there's a way to get into this warehouse. I think it's probably through this cave down here. We need to go to the cave. We have another cave. We have some ruins up here. There's a camp there. And let us finish scouting out this area. Oh, we got someone down. We got an ice troll. I'm sorry, I didn't see you down here, duty. This is more than one. And are we not going to attack? Come on. What about you? Hi. Okay. Nice hit there, girl. Um, uh, let's pass the bottle for a while. Hmm? Everyone always wants to sleep. No, we're not sleeping. What do we get? We got troll skin. Yep. Okay. All right. Oh, there's something over here. Bye. My eyes are peeled. Didn't I just click on all of them? Weren't we over here where the skeletons at? Hmm, I don't remember. Yep, we had been. Okay, I thought so. All right. Oops, oh, I guess that's the only way to get around over here. This road, okay. Okay, we're in pass mode now. Okay. Oh, we have a bitter spirit down here. Did we see them before? I don't remember. I can't talk to any of them, though. Oh, well, there was something here. Bone pile. Oh, now they turn bad. Oh, so if we take their stuff, then they turn mean on us. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you were right here. Go ahead and talk And why aren't you attacking? Maybe this is where I got... I think I might have got killed over here, didn't I? Interesting. Got it. Eh? Got it. I assume we went all around through here already. Because, I mean, that's what it looks like on the map here. Hmm. We'll just go along this way. Definitely makes you feel cold. Okay, another way out. Oh, 
wonder if this is... Okay, we got a spirit up here. Oh, can we talk to it? A few odds and ends lie scattered by the path. There appears to have been a struggle here, but the evidence is half buried under a thin blanket of snow. Wisps of essence hover in the chilly air. Inspect the area. An empty pack lies in the snow. It's been torn nearly in two. Yeah, also muddy tracks churn the ground. It's difficult to discern their shape or number, but they appear to lead north, which would be up that away. The soul fragments plunges you into a memory. Your name is Yagar. You've never been more than 20 miles from home, yet... I'm sorry. You've never been more than 20 miles from home, let alone in the wa White March, and yet you've been climbing steadily higher for a week now. The air is too thin, your clothes are too tight, too light, and you've barely got enough three... And you've got... You've got blah, 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 blah. The air is too thin, your clothes are too light, and you've barely got another three days worth of food with you, but you've never felt better. Really? Hmm. You've only had a handful of fainting spells since you began your journey. You've had as many in a single day before. Okay, but the dreams have been the best part. Despite the frozen rocky ground and the screeching winds, sleep has found you each night and brought you visions of majestic peaks wrapped in snow. The cold is but a sweet ache in your bones. As you hike into the wind, you feel the ache spreading along with the certainty that you're getting closer to him or her, your soul twin. Okay, a stranger whose soul mirrors your own, one of the few people in Eeyore who can understand the constant torment of a split soul and the only person who could help you relieve it. Something approaches through the shroud of snow ahead. You feel a throbbing presence like a heartbeat through linen and you know the vision ends abruptly you find yourself sitting in yarda's scattered belongings while his elation ebbs from your veins oh as the essence fades from you you feel his eagerness dissolve into disappointment until all that remains is the emptiness of a meaningless death wow that's sad his bitter half Yarda only came over to discover how Yarda died. He came across her of the young Dorinda who fought during his white march looking for his soul twin. Whoever killed him didn't leave much behind. South Track Slaving North. Uh, Yarda came to the lawn and searching for his soul twin. Somebody killed him in the Lonely Mountain Passes. I found the final wisps of his soul in the wilds east of Stalwart. But this. Who are we supposed to be doing this for? Hmm. Okay, well that was a sad ending. And so is this, um, hmm, that map that we have. We need to, we need to figure out more of this up here to see if this fits that map that we have. All right, so her. Eh? Oh, we got... Oh, these are those nasty things here that we're Ooh, a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay. Uh, so, let's you do... And why are you just standing there? Who is this? And I'm clicking on it. You. How can you not do anything? Are you? Something got wrong with you here? No. Oh, you're paralyzed. Okay. And then you. Did you do your? Oh, you're paralyzed too. Everyone's paralyzed. You're still paralyzed. Okay. All right, you girl. 
Uh, you have fireball. Okay, so... Okay, are you still paralyzed? Because if not, you need to get out here and help. How may I help? So much good, did it? Okay, you. Um, Crucible of the Soul, Dominion of the Sleepers, Speaker of the Restless, To the Souls of the His or Her Enemies, Killing them with dread of what awaits them in the past. You need to do delayed fireball. How oh, bad? You need to do your second wind. You need to do. Oops. Is this. Um, Come up here and get this one. Come on, get up here and get this. Uh huh. You come up here and get this one. You come down here. Why are you just standing there? Ah, got him. All right, we did. Okay. Oh, do I sleep? Or do I merely dream that I sleep? Everyone wants to sleep all the time. It's like, really, guys? Oh, you can see them breathing. I guess I never even noticed that before. I will. All right. Get her. Hey. anything Got here it. that I can see. There's something over here. Tubes of stiff frozen mud rise from the ground and warm air buffets your face. As you peer into them, you see shiny jagged shards inside. I can't get to them, huh? Blood moss. Oh, find the hot springs. The thermal pearl. I'm the Thermal Pearl. I found the hot springs northwest of the road. Now I have to search them for Thermal Pearls. Oh, which means I have to go into my have a feeling. Okay. It's not even marked on the map. Interesting. Alright, so I think I am going to rest. All right, anyone leveled up that I... Okay, nope, all right. How do we get to it? You peer into the pool. <clears throat> Excuse me. You peer into this pool. The water is perfectly clear, but you don't see anything of note. So I've got to look into more than one, I suppose? Hmm? Be seen. Okay. Is this the way I came? I believe it is. I think no it isn't. I haven't been this way. Alright. Let's look this way then. Okay, we've got some more of these. They're nasty things. Oh, 
Oh, they're easy when they're on their own. We got more over here. Let's get you off of your... Alright, you... Okay. Time to see and not be seen. All right, let's see what else is up here. Okay, we got another one. Oh, this is, um, okay. This looks like a big dude here. Big duder. Okay, let's go here and... Okay, let's go. I think you need to do your... Come on, people. Lead the way. Come on, help. That I'm trying to do. Okay. You need to resurrect me. Which one is it? Um. Here it is. That resurrection. No, that restores. Stores. Which one? There you go, resurrection. Alright, and then you need to put This fight. Uh -huh. you. That's all around him. This torment. How many? Go over here. What? This thing isn't doing the job. 
I'm dead again. This is getting nowhere. Barely injured. Okay, so. What is that? Chain lightning. Here we go. There. That's not for He's almost dead now he is. Okay. Supposed to be that pearl. Need the pearl. Oh, here's something. Oh, is this the Grimoire? Most of the few remaining pages are ruined with mud, but you can make out an entry near the end of the journal. Force. Or Skag woke up this morning and saw my toes had turned blue. Spent the last of my fuel warming them up, but it only took me an hour to start the campfire this time. How far I've come. I passed a village yesterday and thought about stopping. A warm bed and a proper meal would have been a treat after almost a week in these mountains. But I don't want to lose tra track of my soul, twin, not when I'm so close. I dreamt I dreamed in the cave behind the waterfall last night. I think that's where I'll find him. I'm not sure what else it could mean, but I better the next page is missing and the rest are and the rest are unreadable. Hmm. The better half. Came across the remains of the the journal mentions a cave behind a waterfall. Perhaps I'll find answers there. You brush the cloak of steam away from this pool. You think you see, but no, it's just a bubble rolling up from the depths. This pool is empty. Oh, okay. How many of them are there, I wonder? So there's got to be another one up there. Being paused. Why? Because we have things over here. Okay, you come over here with your bounding missiles. Yes. Lava room beyond. I don't want to guys too much. Can you just sit Lead there? Lead the way. Don't... Is there another one up here? There he is. Okay. Zawa is ready. Hi. How about you? Okay, we're done. Time to see and not be seen. All right. Got another pool. This is probably where the pearl's at. Looking into the third pool, you see something round and iridescent resting on the bottom. Let's go ahead and leave it because I didn't save. All right. Take it. You reach in, your flesh tingling in the warm water, and pull the spear out. It's heavier than it looked, and its smooth, pearlescent surface shines as you turn it. You stick it into your pack. Okay. A thermal pearl. Alright, so I got that. Anything else here? My eyes are peeled. 
Is even Cleo? Is he? Is Cleo even a Cleo? Oh yeah, even though I'm sorry, Calypso. Even she's giving up fresh breath. That's so cute. Okay. Uh, what do we have going on here? A place of great silence. Reward. Um, five years ago, twelve senior monks. Oh, oh, that's, we we already assigned her. Um. Okay. Well, we don't want to recall her. So what was it that maybe it was the taxes? Yeah, I guess it was payday. Okay, is there... That is still going... Everything here is still good. All right. Do we need to redo anything? Nope. Okay. I see we all have to be together here. And down we go. Yep, here's some more stuff I didn't pick up. Body was at. All right, we have another one. Up Let's here. go. All right, you. Name for the sentry tonic or bounces between a number of enemies. Okay. and quietly. Sure. So is this map all the way open yet? No, but I'm wondering if this is the area. I don't think it is. Um, let's see here. We want to go to our quest items in that map. Headed map. So we have to have trees up here and a rock formation. We don't, that's not here. No, this is not the area. Trees and rocks. Nope. Okay. Let's get the rest of this. Oop. Got something here. You feel someone's nudge the small of your back. You turn around and no one's standing there, but you feel it again. Something is moving in your pack. Really? You open your pack and hear a soft burbling sound. As you rummage through your belongings, something slick brushes your hand. My pack has got to be huge with everything I'm carrying. It's a baby. Langrepeth? It watches you with benign curiosity. Eggshell fragments still stuck to its body. Well, how did it get in there? 
You're the first person that saw. It's gonna think you're its mama now. That little four-armed fish baby is your son. Eater beams. I couldn't be happier for you. Really? Oh. The pearlescent orb. You have gained an item. A baby added. So I lost the orb. Okay. The thermal pearl just hatched and I have a baby in my pack. Really? So if I would have picked it up after this? You know what I mean? I like, got Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> so... This little creature looks at you and makes a huge pitched wobbling sound. Its iridescent skin flashes in shades of purple and... Blue. Why do I want one of these? Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, your pets can't do anything. That's the whole thing. I don't even remember where you put them at. Oh, I think they're up here, aren't they? Oh, yeah, here they are. I think I'm the only one that has that ability, yeah. The rest of it's locked. Okay. Well. Did I read this? It's embossed with the image of a key. Most of the pages are filled with rust brown stain or writing too small to read, but you are able to decipher a passage near the end of the journal. You can detect how the front door opens even after she... So this is, um... Probably to get into the Durgan's um, Durgan's Forge, whatever it's called. Okay. There it is. It's so cute. Went in after me. Battery. That's what it's called. Okay. So the deer would. It looks like we've got everything done here. Right? I don't think there's anything to discover. <clears throat> so, I have the cave down here and I have um, the ruins up there. But either way, I gotta go across the bridge to get to either one of them, to any of them. Going fast mode. Let's go down here to the cave. Isn't it down here? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Nope, it's right down here. Okay. Cold, all that water coming down, it would be so cold. All right. <clears throat> At least I'm pretty sure I was never in here. New map discovery. Yep, I wasn't. So this is the ice cave. Okay. I will walk unseen. No, me. My eyes are peeled. A lot of bones there. What the heck is that? Gotta get out of the way. What's money? Nothing there? Oh, we got ice sprites. Oh, we've got an alpine dragon. And frost ooze. But 
you look at this? What is this? It's a dragon iron igot and a dragon cogwheel. The settlements across the white march used a variety of bronze coins. Okay. I wonder if this is for something. This cast pig iron ingot has been highly, lightly, lightly refined in preparation for eventual use in Durgan steel. Without the fire of the white forge, it is of little value. Hmm. So I wonder if I take it, that's what... The dragon turns his head to look at you. Its red eyes are clouded like dirty ice, and its sides heave with labored breasts. Frosty plumes jet between its teeth. Leave. Now. The only sound the dragon makes is a hoarse growl, but you hear it as clearly as if it were spoken language. The beast bares its teeth. You look ill. I can still peel the flesh from your bones. The dragon coughs, splattering the ice with crimson droplets. You see something beamer-shaped stuck between its teeth. Hmm. If you wanted to kill me, you'd have tried already. Careful. I killed the last wanderer I found in these parts. Um, what's the problem exactly? Consider it indigestion. And consider yourself lucky I've eaten. A belch rumbles up from the dragon's throat and reverberates in the ice under your feet. Did you eat Yarger, the young man by the road? Was that the rodent's name? I only know that he tasted mealy and lean. The dragon probes the leg bone with, with its tooth. <clears throat> he came looking for a soul twin. What did you, that have to do with you? So why do you look injured? He didn't seem like much of an adversary. I killed him with one swipe of my claws, while he stared at me with those vacant lamb's eyes. It digs his talons into the snow. But his soul shared a connection with mine, one that left me strained, briefly. It fixes its silted, pupiled eyes on you. He thought you could ease his suffering. Wait, you're the soul twin? Why did you kill him? While he lived, his suffering became mine. And as he drew closer, his weakness infected my essence. So how could you be a twin? Well, because the souls can go anywhere. They don't have to go in the same species. I can never be strong while a soul twin of mine lives. Zanu frowns thoughtfully. I always, I have always felt that if I had a soul twin, we would be good friends. I had not considered the advantage of being able to plumble them. Hmm. I take it you've been through this before. Since I was a worm, sudden fits of agony and terror would paralyze me. I was a prisoner to experiences that weren't mine. The dragon's tail slowly coils and uncoils. Eventually, I noticed something similar in my fellow hatchlings. I felt their cries and shrieks become mine as they nipped and flew at one another. So how did you become linked with your siblings? I don't waste my time with the mysteries of souls. What sunders them and how the turning of the wheel apportions them. What matters is power, survival. I killed as many of the other hatchlings as I could. I felt their pain. But I also felt parts of their souls become mine. His stilted, its stilted pupils widen at the memory. I slaughtered and devoured, and the scent of blood drove my siblings into a frenzy. Our nest became a maelstrom of chaos as we fought, dying and feeding together. At last, only a handful of us were left. We were sickened by all we'd consumed and suffered. The spines along his head flatten. Um. Hmm. I didn't think it was possible to consume the soul of another. Nor is it possible for most to feel the experiences of another so keenly. But it has always been this way with my soul twins. Our essence remains connected somehow. I eventually hunted down some of my missing siblings. Others returned to me in other skins and other lives. 
as that boy did. Hmm. You do what you must to survive. Could you have grown stronger by uniting with your soul twins? Killing your soul twins was wrong. Your reasons don't change that. Perhaps another of your soul twins has done the same. One day you may find yourself at the mercy of someone stronger. Caution is the crutch of the weak. It pays to strike first. Hmm. Could you have grown stronger by uniting with your soul twins? Remaining fettered to them. Hoping they never think to turn on me. Something turns noisily in the dragon's stomach. As interesting as this conversation has been, I've had enough of it. The dragon picks at its teeth with a claw and finally pops the leg bone free. It chews on the morsel, its eyes fixed on you. You'll gain nothing from my soul. Why don't you focus on your own soul twins? He looks at you, still clutching and splintering the bone between his teeth. Finally, it falls the jagged mess. Perhaps you're right. Yet what will you offer me if I let you go? Lords, it's said to pure you. I'll spare you the worm. I'll spare your life, worm. As a watcher, I could sever your connection with your soul twins. I've gathered plenty of treasure on my travels. I'll give you a share of it. Hmm. As a watcher, I could sever your connection with your soul twins. Can I really? Hmm. Lies! You would make me vulnerable. How foolish I was to nearly fall for your tricks! The dragon hisses and recoils. You're working even now. Let me help you. What have you got to lose by trusting me? Hmm. You're weakened even now. Let me help you. <laughs> the dragon roars, flashing its fangs and claws at a, as it pre prepares to attack. Okay, gang. Um. So you're going to go... Can you do the... Um, Do that on him. We're all going to concentrate on him. Me, I am going to put down my um, yeah. Why didn't you do what you were supposed Riff to do? Ulicna. You were supposed to put down your things. <laughs> now we got suddenly a whole bunch of them here. Okay, where are you at? Um, there, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. That's him. I wanted him. I think he must be paralyzed. Yeah, um, frostbite. Hobbled. Dazed. Terrified. Me, yeah, I'm just like almost dead. Um, blinded. Barely injured. Still frostbite hobbled. Uh, you can. No, you can't. Still can't do anything. Neither can I. Are you still paralyzed? You can stun flanked. This is a 
bad thing to do. We're all dead here. Okay. Um, did I save anything before I came in here? I don't think I did. The ice cave. Nope. Well, now I know what we're going to be uh, facing over here. Hmm. Do I have a different alternative that I can Sure. Do? Interesting. Um... So it didn't have that didn't trigger it. Okay. Um Leave now. You look ill. I can still peel the flesh from your bones. I kill you already was the problem exactly. Consider it indigestion. And consider yourself lucky I've eaten. Was that the rodent's name? I only know that he tasted mealy and lean. Centuries I've lived. I won't share my soul with some muling, didn't I? The dragon's mouth stretches into something that could almost be a grin. Okay, I clicked a different option. While he I... lived, his suffering became mine. Okay. I can never be strong while a... Okay... Since I was a worm, eventually I noticed something similar in my fellow hatchlings. I felt I killed as many of the other hatchlings as I slaughtered okay. and devoured. At last... Only a handful of us. I eventually hunted down some of my missing siblings. Others returned to me in other um, skins and other lives, as that boy did. So twins has done the same. One day you may find yourself at the mercy of uh, someone stronger. Something turns noisily in the dragon's stomach. As interesting as this conversation has been, I've had enough of it. You'll gain nothing from my soul. Why don't you focus on your soul, twins? Perhaps okay. you're right. Yet what will you offer me if I let you go? No. Hmm. Is there a way to get out of this? I tire of your bravado. If you can offer me nothing better, then at least you'll satisfy my hunger. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have a fight regardless. Okay. Can we get this off before this? I want you to do that. We must be in combat. Well, we are in combat, aren't we? Alright. Um, you can do your add on them. Hey. Alright, now I'm in combat. Okay, you guys all come after this thing. This is where they come at, over here. Okay, and I thought that's what they did. Just do something, or are you paralyzed already? Yep, you're blinded and terrified. Okay. That's the problem we have. Okay. 
Are all my little thingies dead already? Gone? Hmm. Oh, you're almost dead. Come on, you can do your... Don't you have second wind? You have that too. Yeah. Okay, looks like you're working again over here, right? Maybe? Okay, what can you do here? You can do resurrection, storm holy fire. Okay. You're almost you're dead. Oh, you're paralyzed. Okay. Hey. Um, lesser burst of summer fire. I don't want that. I want the one where he can do delayed fireball. Fireball, did you? Oops, he's dead. He's almost dead. Yeah. Okay, now we are. Okay, now he did. Now do your second wind. You can't do your second wind because. These are those weird things that she can do. <laughs> Come on. What else we got here? again.
Oops. All right, what do you have, Eater? I'm almost dead again. Everyone's almost dead here. Yep, I'm dead. Interesting. It gives me a chance to leave. I wonder if it will let me leave, but we'll find that on, on another channel or on another episode. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.